and someone who was introduced in that game, Marcel Sabitzer. Could he play an important role, especially in the next three three games coming up? Not only in the next three games coming up. Um, so we signed him, uh, and um, we said from the from the start of the season we only want to bring in outstanding players, and I think he is one of them. Um, and he has a good profile. He already has a good record um, in good clubs. Uh, he already performed on the highest levels. So we are sure um, with his character, also a winner, he can contribute to our success. And I think in the 20 minutes he played, uh, we already have seen a little bit, uh, but much more to come. And I'm, I'm sure he will do. And there looks to be many players playing with smiles on their faces at the moment. To pick out one in particular, Jadon Sancho came on against um, in the Carabao Cup with a smile on his face. Couldn't quite get on at the weekend, but what's it? could you tell us a little bit about the journey he's been on and the way he's come back and he seems to be enjoying his football again? I think the best moment was the, the, how the fans embrace him, huh? how the, that reception. Uh, I think it will back him. Um, and it will motivate him to bring even more. Um, the fans likes his game. Um, and he's a brilliant football player, and uh, we are back. We are happy have him back, and because he can contribute uh, with his creativity, with his speed, with with his intelligence, he can decide football games. And yeah, that is also what we expect from him, and we are hoping he will do it. And finally, you attended the memorial service yesterday for the 65th anniversary of the Munich air disaster and also paid your respects before the game on Saturday. How did it feel to be a part of that ceremony for the first time? Has it increased your understanding of how important the Busby Babes and their legacy are to this club? Uh, definitely, it's, as you said, it's the legacy of this club. And it's so important in the history of the club. And it gives the club a direction from... Uh, playing attacking football, playing adventure, uh, but also uh, play with young players and to develop a team. And that team is above everything. And I think it's also about friendship um, and friends who get, got lost in a terrible accident. And we can never forget them and it's good we remember them every year. Yeah, you see this team stands for each other. Eh? There's so, such a good spirit in the team. And they, they don't accept when a player from us uh, can be badly injured. And that is the way um, Anthony got treated. And um, then this, this team sticks together. But of course, uh, you have to uh, control your emotions. But it's really difficult in such a moment. And then I see two teams fighting each other. Uh, I see two teams where players, several players crossing the line and then one player eh, is picked out and gets sent off and for me that's not right. Is it, from what you said about Anthony, is it fair to say that you think action should have been taken over that tackle if you think he could have been badly injured? He, the player from Crystal Palace takes a big risk by this, by this fall, that he gets bad, badly injured by pushing him across the line and you know the pitch is here. Eh, and then, yeah, then everyone is reacting. Crystal Palace players and Man United players. And not only Casimiro. Did, did you think Ayu should have been sent off to the PSL and round? Yeah, yeah. But I, that's, well, you bring it up. Huh? But there was one of the players, he did uh, even worse, I would say, as Casimiro. Casimiro, you freeze the moment, I think really short. He's crossing the line there, but yeah, uh, I do definitely. Uh, and you have to be consistent as a VR. If um, uh, last week we missed Christian Eriksen by bad fall, no interfering from VR. Uh, in Crystal Palace, Mateta is elbowing Martinez. He's running with two weeks with such an eye on his, um, on his um, eyebrow and not interfering. Uh, so, yeah, I see uh, this is not right. And uh, this is in the game, uh, the influence on the game, but also for coming games. Does that make you even happier that you've got through that game, say you defended really well ah. and won the game? Yeah, definitely. Uh, but you see uh, in this moment uh, um, and uh, that there's the team spirit. And so I then also, uh, uh, and once again, they have to control the emotions.
eh, and you can't cross lines. Eh, there is uh, certain standards also you have to keep there as a team. Eh, but also, yeah, you have to protect each other eh, when yeah, players like Christian Eriksen just uh, last week get such. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not co- uh, really as a colleague that you want to uh, get. I- another player such an injury so to bring an injury to a player and it was the same with Anthony today so then you have to stand as a team and that is what they did but still once again you have to keep yourself in control because we are we are role models James Hi Eric um, how significant is it that you're now without, um, without Casemiro for three games you've obviously lost Christian Eriksen as well that pretty much is the heart of the field but uh, first of all, we have to deal with it, eh? and we will do, but it's not right. Eh? It shouldn't have happened, um, and uh, yeah, last week the, the tackle that can, uh, there's no refereeing of uh, VR can do <laughs> in the first line uh, happen, uh, I can't do anything about this, but this could be, was affordable, and because in this incident you have to be consequent. And they are inconsistent, yeah. and and that's not right, and so that is not fair um, you against us. You appeal three matches, you know. Ah, uh, we have to think about it, but also uh, oh, be fair. Uh, we have seen, but when you're freezing, uh, then Casemiro <laughs> is uh, across uh, crossing the line. But as I say, many more players uh, we are crossing the line there. So they linked in a way we just said. What happened to Christian last week, the reaction of the players this week, is it, do, you, do you see a link between those two things? No, 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 but it's more the point uh, um, when, when everything is, so it's about consistency. Uh, in, um, um, you, but you don't want to lose, obviously, uh, players and that colleagues are hurting each other uh, that bad like the player last week did against uh, Christian Eriksen and the player from Crystal Palace, he started this, uh, he took uh, uh, a big risk uh, by injury, bringing an injury to Anthony. Uh, last two, Ian and James. Uh, Eric, is it fair to say, obviously you, you call for control, but is it fair to say you're pleased to see your players stand up for each other in that way? I know you don't want to see players sent off, but are you happy that Casemiro would react in that way? Y- yes, and um, we uh, we get um, uh, also some some warnings about uh, that our team uh, reacting like this, and I think you have to do it. You have to protect each other. But as I said, uh, we want to keep uh, f- standards and values, and uh, in Man United, uh, we have to keep them high. We will be. Um, uh, uh, yeah, we have to. We can't cross lines, uh, but we have to stick together. And yes, we we, uh, we have to stand for each other. Yes. Harry, when you said um, with the IU incident, 